Hi, it's Uncle Laurie here for Sunday Shave. Today it'll be a Sunday sample shave with um, uh, a soap from America, a company that's been running for about 10 years, Shannon's. Shannon's soap. Yeah, she's been going since 2011. And the scent is Lady Luck. So I'll uh, put some uh, pre shave on. Got a little tiny piece of cube. I can barely hang on. This might be my last shave with it, I think. It's getting a bit difficult to use. Just put some water on. I've already whipped up the um, the stone. Do a nice shiny leather. As you can see here, got a nice sheen on it. Very shiny. Uh, I'll put a bit of alum on my fingers here. Oh, place it on. Too much, I think. Mm, that's better. The scent is um, it's quite nice. It's uh, what's it got in it? It's got amber, vanilla, bergamot. A uh, bit of porcello and sandalwood, but to me it smells like one of my wife's perfumes. Uh, I think it's Le Instant de Goulain. It's a, sort of reminiscent of that. It's not the same, but it's reminiscent. It's sort of got that same sort of vibe. It's a lovely scent. It's about medium. Medium, just above medium strength, and it's quite nice. Now, the razor I've got is the Merca Progress set on two to start with. I've gone back to the Merca Progress because I had a bad shave on Friday and I've got quite a few weepers and spots left over on sun uh, yesterday. with something I know it's going to be a bit gentle this is set on two to start with which is quite uh, quite nice setting just above rock wall plate three I want to thank all those uh, uh, viewers that are taking their time to watch my videos and also the subscribers. Thank you very much. I started um, 
doing videos as a way to present uh, Australian soaps on the YouTube or represent Australian soaps because they don't get a lot of YouTube activity from them. So even though this is not Australian soap, I do do Australian soaps every Wednesday and sometimes I do Australian soap on my sample Sunday as well. But I do at least one shave a week with Australian soap. I have quite a bit, quite a collection of Australian soaps. But Shannon isn't one of them. It's, Shannon's nice, it's slick. Protective. All these top soaps I don't have any trouble with. Very easy leather. Glad that in no time. Quite a thick, thick, rich leather, it's very shiny. Not voluminous, but uh, definitely you see. Definitely thick enough. Give a protective layer. Um, I might, I uh, know, oh I'll keep on two for my second pass. See how that goes. Oh, it's very nice. I might drop it to one and a half for the neck. It's quite sensitive still from the last shave. Uh, where is it? Yeah, that's nice and gentle. Yeah, see, you see, you've got spots everywhere from Friday shave. Some down along here, along the neck here. Yeah. That's all from Friday. I tried a new razor, or well, a razor I haven't used before. A vintage one, which is actually a gem 1912. I've never tried one before, but um, yes, I didn't get a good shave. It was close enough, but not. Uh, Smooth. It's like it's quite moist, as you can see, it's well hydrated. Very nice. It's nice, very slick.
that's nice, nice and gentle. And on one and a half for me. Still plenty of residual there where I just wet my fingers. shaving product. I didn't open up the weepers again so that's good. I just do some touch-ups. Yeah that's nice. There's a lovely scent coming off that um, soap. Probably from the What's in it? From the amber and vanilla. Mm, and bergamot. Yeah, I can smell them all merged together there. Lovely blend. Nothing reopened. They're red, but they're not opened up again. Oh, feels very nice. Lovely. It's a nice shave. Oh, it's nice to get a nice shave after a bad one. Yes, very nice. Just a touch around there. Friday, 
but that was much better shave as you can see there's no real signs of razor burn that's um, still left over from Friday night or Friday afternoon so I'll go over the um, products of use actually as you can see I've still got some lather left and I've still got a lovely shine on it it's a lovely lather I like that I'll just rinse that off and I'll show you the brush it's actually a yakky brush it's the uh, first yakky brush I've actually ever bought uh, it's the uh, Yucky Pony, Pony Knot. Uh, I still haven't rinsed it properly, but so it's a rainbow 26ml for Pony Knot. It's got the, uh, you know, it's quite a soft, it's got a little bit of backbone, but not, not a lot. And it behaves a little bit like a, uh, a horse here. Um, not. I can't say that for sure because I've, I've never had a horse here at all. Certainly looks like one. Yeah, that looks better. <laughs> Lovely. It's a nice brush. It's my favourite yakky brush. the um, Shannon Lady Luck soap which has a scent very reminiscent to me of a, um, a perfume my wife uses the uh, Le Instant de Goulain we have the razor we used was the Merca Progress with the short handle I set it on two for the, uh, the first part of the shave and one and a half with a, um, well, basically a third pass and a second pass in touch-ups, which is very mild. And I got a nice mild shave. So, to finish up, well, I also used the scuttle. As you can see, from Australian scuttles. I didn't uh, heat up didn't put any hot water in it though this time. Just use it as a leather and bowl. So I'll start off with a bit of um, Dickinson's witch hazel. And I'll follow that up with my um, Lucky Tiger. Vanishing cream. This is a mentholated eucalyptus type of um, scent cream. So it'd be it's a balm type cream. And it calms the skin down very nicely. it off with a bit of um, splash, a bit of 4711 today, doesn't match the soap but it doesn't matter, the soap is well and truly gone by now on my face from the shower so it doesn't really matter what splash I'm putting on after it for my shame today thank you for watching and we'll catch you on Wednesday for my Aussie uh, soap shave and we'll see you then probably something maybe people haven't seen before we'll catch you on Wednesday thank you very much for watching